Phoenix News. Today is May 22nd, 2009. I am Tamia Taylor. Early this morning, a fire broke out in the 1600 block of Elmer Street in DC. Chelsea is live at the scene. Thanks, Tamia. I'm here live at the 1600 block of Elmer Street in DC, where police say around five o'clock AM, a fire broke out. Firefighters say that a gas line combined with an electric line started the blaze. Eleven houses have been destroyed. The coroner's office has reported that three people have died and 12 are in critical condition. We now have a victim live at the scene. How do you feel? <laughs> I lost my cousin in a fire and now I have nowhere to live. <laughs> Oh, Brittany Turner was found dead at Fordsville Military School in Fordsville, Maryland. Turner was five months pregnant. Police said she had badly injuries to her upper body. After police investigated, they found out her former boyfriend, John Henry, killed her because they had a disagreement between having a baby and having an abortion. Back to Chelsea. This morning, the Census Bureau office in Cleveland has been put on lockdown due to a security breach. Two suspects tried to steal several cars at the Branch Avenue Metro Station. One suspect fled the scene while the other was arrested. Police later found the other suspect in the Census Bureau parking lot after he set off an alarm at the Bureau. No one was hurt. We now have Tamia and Jamie with the latest. I am Jamie Miles. In today's news, strange text messages have been steaming up some heat. It alleged that a HIV-infected man is going around putting blood into ketchup dispensers. Tamia's lab at the scene with the latest. Thank you. Have you heard of the HIV-infected man? Yes. And how do you feel about it? I just feel as though that it's unsafe for me going to Curry out here from Curry out to ketchup dispensers. Too many people out here already got AIDS. Maybe it's not safe to have sex with Curry And people out here got AIDS from having sex with our partners. Okay, thank you. According to the U.S. Center for Disease Control, there have not been any cases reported. They recommend using ketchup pockets instead of open bottle ketchup. Now back to you, Chelsea. Thanks, Tamia. Across the nation, California firefighters are trying to control several fires that have destroyed nearly 1,800 acres of land and caused 20,000 homes to be evacuated in Santa Barbara County. So far, no one has been injured, and 70% of the fire is under control. We are now going to move to Tommy and Jamie, Jamie, who have the latest in sports. Thanks, Chelsea. Today is sports. The Dallas Cowboys practice field. Kate then and injured three players. All three players were rushed to the hospital and are said to be okay. Strong winds are believed to be the cause of the roof caving in. Lots of money has been invested in the indoor practice field which was recently renovated in 2003. We now have Jamie with breaking news in California. Breaking news, today in California, we have live footage of a Cowboys quarterback, John Turner, using drug substances. California police have taken John Turner in for questioning. Here are some pictures. Why were you using drugs? Why did you do it? Was it to enhance your performance? No comment. Why did you do it, John? No comment. We'll be back with more developing news. Now back to Chelsea. Thanks, Jamie. We're now moving to Tamiya with national weather. Thanks, 
Chelsea. I'm at Dubai High School where it's 72 degrees. Let's take a look at the weather across the nation. Boston is experiencing some cold and windy weather. In the southern states, there's a lot of sunshine, especially near Miami and Orlando. You can expect some rain near Kansas City. This is your weather across the nation. Thank you, Chelsea. International news, U.S. journalist Roxanne Severi was released this morning after serving four months in an Iranian prison. Severi was charged for being an espionage for the U.S. After appealing in court, her eight-year sentence was reduced to two years suspension. Severi's father had this to say. How do you feel about your daughter being released? I'm very happy that my daughter is being released. We missed her very much. We'll be taking her home in a couple of days. Thank you. Saberi is doing well and is now reunited with her parents. We now have time Mia with an interview with wide receiver Brent Tower. Thanks, Chelsea. Today in sports, Cleveland Browns wide receiver Brent Tower has just been traded off to the Dallas Cowboys. In a private interview, he asked Brent how he felt about the trade. How do you feel about the trade? I mean, I feel it's it's wonderful basically my part because I like my teammates and the the Dallas I'm in Dallas so whatnot and our team is good and you know what I'm saying. So do you like your your position? Of course I like my position. I'm a wide receiver. So, yeah. And do you feel accomplished with ninety six perceptions? Of course, that's who that's what I, that's my job, so I gotta do that. Thanks a lot. Now back to you, Chelsea. Thanks, Time Mia. It's now time to have a look at your five day forecast. On Monday, it's going to be partly cloudy with some sunshine and a high of 74. Tuesday, it's going to be sunny with a high of 81 degrees. Wednesday, it's going to be slightly sunny with a chance of thunderstorms at night, but you'll have the high. Thursday will be very sunny. Channel 6 News at 10. I'm Tamia Taylor and have a good evening.